guys so i have traveled to ireland today and i'm just thinking that i might already put this down so i can talk to you because it hurts my arm okay i'm gonna have to do an up the nose jobby because i can't put you anywhere else i have traveled to ireland very early i have been invited here by penguin books and tourism island and it's only for one night i'm in dublin and it's to meet the happy pair who um, I've got Instagram and they've got cookery books and yeah, all thing veganism and kind of health and well-being. Um, so yeah, they invited me on this trip, which is super exciting and a really amazing opportunity for me. A um, bit of a pinch me moment, if I'm honest. Just checked into the hotel. I'm here with two other girls. One I've met already, Sane, and she is lovely. And yeah, we're meeting another girl later called Bronte. I will link their channels below and Instagrams, things like that. Checked into the hotel, really, really lovely hotel. So I will give you a room tour in a moment. Here for one night today, it is, what time is it now? It's quarter past one. Uh, I think we're gonna be going somewhere at three o'clock. I think we're doing like a food tasting trail thing around Dublin, which should be really good. And then tonight we're allowed to do what we want. So I think we might go out for dinner. And then we have a very early morning uh i think it's i think we have to leave here at 6 a.m uh so yeah hopefully the bed is not too comfy and then we are driving to greystones which is where the happy pair have a restaurant and they are going to be doing i say they because potentially we but probably not they uh, are doing a sunset swim so yeah that should be interesting but really excited about that and then tomorrow we're going to the guinness factory so that should be really good because i have been to dublin before but i didn't really experience it properly and then we are then just like yeah having another afternoon of um, kind of exploring and then i'll be flying back home so it's a bit of a whistle stop tour i'm going to be knackered on friday but i'm really really excited to be here and it's very exciting and yeah let me show you the room as well because it's very very nice so this is the door here so you come in here so this is the big bed which i haven't actually tried yet but okay let's try it <sighs> that's good i don't look so good but that is very nice must not fall asleep must not fall asleep um and then spin round there's a really big mirror here uh then tv and then kind of come around here and this is like the chill out area so i put all my stuff down here i've just noticed that there's a coffee machine which is very exciting so i'm gonna have to work out how to use that um or like a kettle so maybe a tea um and then yeah nice little chair to chill out another mirror always good to have many mirrors and then yeah back round again so yeah i've just realized actually that i didn't show you the bathroom so let me show you the bathroom very nice just very nice bathroom towels some little products here and then again massive mirror perfect probably lay out all my makeup and stuff here and then yeah lovely big shower as well delightful I don't think I've said where I'm staying actually. I think it's called the Trinity City Hotel. So yeah, very nice hotel and they've been very friendly so far. So all good. I am going to chill out for a bit, watch probably a bit of TV, maybe read some stuff, read the itinerary and yeah, just get to grips with where I am before I'm going out a bit. It's a bit later now and I've sorted myself out. I look a little bit better after my flight and stuff. Um, I've been chilling, I've been reading this book which is the opposite of loneliness and I'm enjoying it, it's very very good and yeah quite powerful considering she, this was posted, posted, this was published um, after she died at a young age so yeah. I have kind of just worn something slightly different, well actually I haven't, I'm still wearing this Whistles white t-shirt um, I've just put on this denim jacket instead of my coat that I was wearing earlier um, and then yeah I am ready to go out. I think I'm meeting the other two girls down in the hotel lobby and then we're off on this food trail thing so it should be really interesting and I'll take you with me. hotel now so it's not the best light in here let me see if there's a oh no not really a good light 
yeah we had a really really nice day walking around with a company called fab food trails why is this not working um and a lovely lady called Eileen, um, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She was so, so lovely, took us all around kind of the local spots and it was very, very nice. We've just come back to kind of freshen up and then we are gonna go out for dinner. We're not sure where yet, but we're just gonna go and have a look around and see what we like the look of. I've literally just got changed um, in this to this top, which is a black and white polka dot top just to feel a bit more fresh. So I'll take you along for dinner and then I just need to go to sleep <laughs> because I'm tired after waking up at like five this morning and then we've got to wake up about five again tomorrow. So yeah, but it's all good and having a very nice time. Also, Sane told me that there are chocolates in our hotel room and I found them. So I'm gonna keep these for later, I think, after dinner. Mm -mm. Just got back from dinner. We had um, a burger from Joe Burger, I think it was called, which was good. Um, I had a very nice drink, which was like a non-alcoholic mojito. It was lovely. Um, but I'm back in the hotel now. It's about nine, but I'm so tired. Probably going to like FaceTime Dan, have the chocolates, and then get into bed and just watch TV slash read a book. And then we've got really early start in the morning, so I also need to sort out my bag. And then I'll see you in the morning for that fun. It is six o'clock in the morning, and I'm ready to go downstairs check out of the hotel, get some breakfast, and then we are off to Greystones for sunrise. Let's go. We have arrived in Greystones, oh, I'm a bit wobbly, and we are here for the sunrise. We've got Steve here from the Happy Pair, and Sane is going in. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> uh, hello and welcome to the beach. My name is Stephen. Uh, I assume da Dave is my twin brother. He's coming down the stuff. Fair of you. Okay, we're not moving. Out of the shop, but, uh, welcome to sunrise. It's something we've been doing for a couple of years now, swimming at sunrise. Uh, feel the cold is very bracing. Brings us back to the present moment. Santa's going to do it. Faye might do it. Um, yeah, it's great. So uh, come join us. lots of food which looks very tasty mm -hmm. okay we have just finished at greystones and we have traveled back to dublin i don't know if you can hear me and we are now at the guinness factory is it guinness factory yeah. store i'm here with sane Hi. and bronte say hello <laughs> on our phone so hopefully it'll be tasty I wanted to end this vlog properly so that I could just say a few things because I feel like I didn't really cover it properly but yeah I had the most amazing trip so thank you so much to Penguin and to the Happy Pair for having us. It was quite a big deal for me to like travel on my own and yeah go there and just be invited 
to begin with to be honest so I felt very very honoured and yeah I had a really really good time um, I feel like it wasn't really that clear but we were at the Happy Pair in Greystones for about three to four hours and we were just chatting to Dave and Steve for quite a while had loads and loads of food and yeah it was just a really really great experience they gave us these cute little tote bags that say the happy pair um, and gave us some really good treats including like pesto and, and chocolate spread oh it was just really really good so thank you for those um and yeah i just wanted to mention the book as well it's such a nice book and i am trying to eat less meat as you know if you've been watching my uh, videos recently so i'm really really excited to try some of the recipes there's some stuff that's so good and i've actually read the bit at the back already which i'd really recommend it's not about food it's more about mindfulness it's about exercising about yoga and a bit about kind of their um sunset swims sunset sunrise swims as well and it was just an incredible day and morning and although i didn't go swimming um i really appreciated like the whole situation and how yeah it just made you feel like a little bit more alive in the morning so yeah i'll link everything below um and also i will link everywhere we went below as well because we went to some really really nice food places and yeah we were taken around on the second day by a really nice lady i'll link everything below because if you're going to dublin then i'd recommend like where we went because it's not kind of like the usual places you might think to go um kind of less tourism tourism touristy so yeah thank you guys for watching and um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know if you've been to Dublin and if you've been to any of the places yourself so yeah thank you guys and I will see you again soon bye